What's up, legends? Now, excuse the lighting, I'm actually gonna go and uh, nearer to the door over here. I haven't opened up my house, like the shutters and stuff yet, because it's uh, morning and I'm about to head out. But today, we're gonna be filming a new car, and I actually asked uh, you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you wanted to see in 2021, and a lot of the, the, the main theme was car videos with a bit of vlog in them. So that's what we're gonna do today, gonna vlog like going to the car that we're filming in that whole end, so that it's a little bit more uh, yeah, up your street and what you guys seem that you, you want to see. Today we're filming a Tesla, but a, um, a newer Tesla, a Model 3. But I didn't realize that the Model 3 has been updated recently and a friend of mine just got one and he's going to run me through all the updates and I'm going to learn alongside you. So let's get the Ferrari, let's head over to the port, let's get filming. Now, the main reason we're using the Ferrari actually as a daily driver right now is because I don't have my Twizy. My, my parents are using it because they are here near Monaco. Um, and so I, seeing as I had this, uh, I'm driving this around now as a daily whilst they're using the Renault Twizy. So this is literally, yeah, the, the way I'm getting around these days. Daily driving, the uh, Capristo for the Scuderia. But let's start it up now in the garage. Should be pretty loud. So we've actually got to close the valves because or else all of the alarms of the other cars are going to get set off. Let's go. This is closed valves. All right. To get out of my car park, you actually take that lift. Don't know where it is now, but it looks cool, but it's more annoying than anything because I have to put the car in there every time, wait for it like this every time. It's a little bit frustrating, but no matter, can't complain. But this is how I have to get out of the garage every, every day. Look how close it is inside. Not much room for error. Close the, uh, close the windows before the fumes come in. Ugh. Or a mission. One of the things you notice more in winter with the Ferrari, uh, well with this Ferrari, I think with modern ones, it doesn't happen as much, is that it takes quite a while to warm up when it's really cold. So when it's overnight and it's pretty chilly at night, then when you get in the car, it becomes, uh, yeah, well, just pretty slow to kind of get started. That's not just the engine, but like the gearbox becomes a bit more aggressive, a bit slower on the gear shift. Uh, the brakes take a while to warm up the carbon ceramics um, and just in general the way the car behaves feels a little bit more sluggish and old school for the first kind of 10-15 minutes so you just need to kind of caress it at first get it all nicely warmed up and then eventually when it's when it's nice and warm, warm it runs uh, really smoothly but yeah you notice it a lot more in winter for sure there's some pretty nuts boats here at the moment look at the sails on that sailboat it's called the Maltese Falcon I'll see if I can show it to you afterwards. Can't accelerate despite us being in a tunnel because temperatures are still not quite warm. But just depending on where you are in the world, um, just so you know, here in Monaco, um, we have lockdown from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. So during the day like this, we are perfectly entitled to being able to go out and film. And here is the car, the Tesla. Look at that. Right, yo, I hope we don't get much wind noise, but Romain, Welcome back to the channel. You've been on the channel a few times. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Romain. I'm a French YouTuber. Yes, or you can tell. I love new technology and you can follow me on Instagram because uh, I can talk in English on my Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he's like, I'm going to act like the most French person. He does it very well. Um, so I'm very distracted by that boat also. But anywho, this is the 2021 Tesla Model 3. I say, oh, nice Aston as well. I say 2021. Sorry? Sound. Yeah, it wasn't you. Yeah, no, this doesn't make quite as much noise. Um, but 2021, because there have been changes. Roma has been um, a YouTuber for a while and obviously loves cars. And we've been friends for a long time, 15 years. And we've been talking about cars and what Roma should buy for ages. Uh, and finally, he's ended up going for this. And the reason is because you very nicely said in French, this is like... Um, a computer with wheels and not wheels with a computer. Yeah. So, um, like a big gadget. It is, it is. And that's what you love. I mean, your YouTube channel is called Tech News and Test. Um, and it's literally your perfect car. I couldn't see you in, in another car. Um, but for my first car. Yeah, I yeah. Think, oh, it's unreal. Yeah. I mean, this is an unreal first car. But you guys know the Tesla Model 3. I've made videos on the Tesla Model 3 before, and a lot of people have as well. What interests me is this spec and the changes to the 2021 because they're actually small changes which i think are really interesting and it's one of the things i love about tesla is they're not afraid to 
you know, stand corrected and take constructive criticism and improve their cars as the years go on. That's both technology in a technology way. So being able to update your car from a distance like an iPhone and it's even in physical car things. Now and in yeah. five years. Oh, for sure. It, it, the Physically car, it is. Yeah. yeah but technologically but, yeah. it's not. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, you've done some pretty cool things that like you've got in the turbine wheels. Um, which are really cool in matte black or oh, matte gray is dark gray, right? Yeah, dark gray blackish really nice a Really nice paint color which cost about a thousand euros something like that because the total all <laughs> Oh, yeah, every option and the total price was 74,990 euros, which you order online um, they've also de-chromed the whole car for 2021. So the door handles, details like around the camera here, under the wing mirrors, everything's been de-chromed, including on the interior. Really cool door handles, which are actually similar to the ones on an Aston. But for example, all of this is now in satin black here as well. And as you can tell on the inside, we have white leather, literally white. And I know what you're thinking, because I thought it too. Is that going to get marked by jeans or things like that? Yes, is the answer, but it is not real leather. So you can actually just wipe it straight off. So see how the seat looks brand new. Romain drove this down from Paris and arrived and there were obviously a few marks on the seats. One quick wipe and everything's back to normal. So you don't need to worry about dirtying your white seats, which is why he was able to go for this spec. It's also got the plastic um, carpets down there right now, not really carpets, but protections. Yeah, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this is now the all these buttons. So look, I'll show you actually if you sit inside. Um, these buttons previously were not in aluminium. Now they're in aluminium on the 2021. The only other physical button in this car is your hazard light right here for obvious reasons. You've then got these huge solar panels, which are really cool. So dual solar panel with the rear one merging into the rear windshield which is really cool. And then loads of different little things, which we'll talk about more when I'm driving the car because Roma's very kindly going to let me drive the car. Um, but things like the charger right here. So that used to be an option. So that's wireless charging now, standard on the 2021. Um, and yeah, a few different things, including also one of my personal favorites, a sat matte carbon rear wing, which is really, really nice. Um, looks cool. You can't tell that it's carbon. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's double glazing on the glass. Double glazing? Double glazed. Double glazed. Yeah, yeah I believe that's how you say it. Uh, yeah, ED. Yeah, exactly. There you go. See, you learn something every day. But that's actually really cool, especially on an electric car, because obviously, as the car doesn't make any noise, you're much more sensitive to the sounds that are uh, around you. So, yeah, I'm just adjusting the lighting as, as we go. Um, so that's really nice. And then also it means when you're, for example, charging your car and you want to put Netflix or YouTube up on your screen while the car charges, you're, you're not aware of all the noises around. Another thing is um, that the rear boot is now automated, is huge. Let's demonstrate again. <laughs> Look at this. I can get in super easily to the back of this car. I mean, granted, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, but still. <laughs> For the Model 3, that is pretty impressive. Um, now, there's also a hidden cabinet, which if you can show us, would be fantastic, um, which is massive, and where you can actually hide. For example, here you've got a camera bag. So how cool is that? So it look, it's already a big boot, but you've kind of got a second mini boot underneath, and then a third mini boot in the front, um, because obviously there's no engine. Now this one is actually a bit smaller because in this new 2021 model, um, they've got this system which effectively uses the heat from the batteries to send heat into the car. So rather than grabbing all the heat outside and using a bunch of energy to warm that uh, air up to then put it through the heater, he's discovering things. <laughs> It now uses the heat that comes straight from the batteries and that generator is kind of under there. So it does limit the boot space here a bit, but that's still a decent space. I mean, that's bigger than like the old boot of my Lotus. Um, and it does also save about 50, 60 kilos, which now means the 0 to 60 is 3.2 seconds. 3.2. That is faster than that Aston, than that Porsche that just went in, than my Ferrari. That's faster than any of those. You beat them all. And to put that power down, because you've kind of got a, a first engine system in the rear and one in the front, you've got four-wheel drive. 
um, and so that obviously helps. There you go, there's some more light. That obviously helps to put that power down uh, and makes a massive difference. So they've done it super, super well. Shall we go for a drive? Yeah? Oh, sure. Can I drive? Yeah, you. Yes, that's my boy. <laughs> right, let's do this. Right, I've parked up close to the boat. I just wanted to show you Maltese Falcon right here. Arguably one of the most famous sailboats in the world. It is massive. This boat right here as well, Royal Romance. Not bad. Anyway, let's go back and let's talk about Tesla. And we're in the car now. I'm at the wheel. And actually this wheel is quite interesting. Every time I've driven a Model 3, when you compare it to like the Model S um, or Model X or whatever, it's a much smaller, beefier um, steering wheel, which makes it feel a lot sportier, which is pretty interesting actually. But uh, really, really nice. We're in comfort mode right now. So everything gets controlled through this screen. Now we, we can uh, put it so that we're on Mars on this screen, right? <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the place. But um, the first of all, the sat nav is really elaborate. But <laughs> look at that. I mean, how Elon Musk is that? Um, now one thing, when you get in, the first thing that kind of strikes you, which is different, is the regenerative braking, which is pretty powerful. You can adjust the regenerative braking, right? Yeah. Um, to different levels. Right here. Okay, yeah. So we've got it on strong, which I actually quite like. Do you so, want yeah. to? Yeah, let's go. Sport, sport mode. Acceleration. Oh no. So the steering instantly gets heavier. You really notice that the steering gets heavier. Now it's a little bit damp here, and we've got the equivalent in kilowatts, of it's course. It's wet. Yeah, because. it's very wet. <laughs> We've got the equivalent of 500 horsepower. You don't know when I'm going to accelerate, do you? It must be quite stressful. Is it now? No. Is it now? I mean, it could be now. It could be any second, but you don't know when it is. So. The thing is, like, you'll get in trouble so quickly with this that you can't accelerate uh, hard, long, because the rest are doing crazy speeds. 3.2 seconds from 0 to 60 is insane and it's like such a different thrill and it's so addictive you just keep on doing that acceleration and the thing which is nuts is it's not just the 0 to 60 it's even when you're doing you know 70 80 kilometers an hour and you still accelerate it keeps like giving you that nuts accelerator feeling and it pulls your neck back and gives you that like you know when your stomach kind of like goes up feels like your stomach's going up into your chest Right, we're coming into quite a lovely little tunnel here. So we're gonna be able to give it some a little bit more. So if you film our reaction. So cool, I haven't touched the brake since I've gotten into this car. So yeah. Oh! It just oh. keeps going. Oh. It like makes your eyes kind of go to the, around the side of your head and pulls your cheeks, it's like, oh. And that's not even right there, that last acceleration. That is not foot to the floor. That is not all the way flat. But it feels very manageable, puts the power down through the four wheel drive. And the steering is actually uh, pretty nice. I mean, it's not, you know, it's no Zonda, but it is very nice um, in, in a sport mode because it's nice and heavy. And as I say, through this thick steering wheel, you kind of feel what's going on quite nicely. And you can definitely see what's going on through these uh, sunroofs, which are really, really nice. And it's so airy in here. Look, whoa. It's so airy, you can just, you feel like there's nothing kind of between you and the outside world, mainly because of the glass, but also because of uh, the lack of noise around. So because you don't really have, you have a little bit of like a mosquito kind of electric sound, but mainly you're just hearing everything uh, around you in a dumbed down form, which is just quite nice. You just feel like you're, 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 you're not locked into this car. There's quite a relaxing driving experience, um, the lack of noise. So it's a whole new way of kind of going about your commute. This is not the car which is necessarily gonna make your like hairs stand on end on a Sunday drive, but it is the car that will get you from A to B in the most efficient and kind of relaxing and innovative way. And it's an experience to itself and I really, really like it. Um, they've also come a long way in terms of the range. So you were saying that you've tested um, the car in kind of different uh, driving styles and comfort and sport. 
and the average that you could get from a full charge was around 430 kilometers, um, which yeah. is pretty impressive. And then obviously if you're driving it in sort of super eco modes, you can get more like 500 out of that and ideally you can get 600. But this is really cool, for example, when you put in, let's say Paris, so we're in Monaco right now, south of France, you put in Paris, the car uses its own um, uh, 4G, so which you have free for the first year when you buy the car, and then it's nine euros a month in France. It will use its 4G to then calculate. I don't know why it's taking a while. We must be in a low. The 4G is free. You just you paid when you want to use, for example, Spotify or oh, other see. app Netflix, uh, integrated. All that stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, when, there's no signal here for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. I can share my um, smartphone Wi-Fi if I need. Oh, so you can yeah. hotspot your yeah. car. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, this is the weirdest roundabout. Um, it got the, the regenerative braking is quite something. Now, there's a few other little gadgets. Like when we're driving, I don't know if you can see here. Oh, now we've got signal, so that's now going to work. But in the meantime, look here, so it shows you the lines, it shows you the post, it will show you uh, pedestrians, the cars in front of you, everything, because it's obviously got um, a certain level of autopilot. Now, it doesn't work too well. Let's see if it's this button that I press. Um, when you have this logo, you can push, uh, push two, down. and now it's it's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stay close. No, 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 that's... That's that's fine. Look, this is crazy. <laughs> it feels so weird. So I'm not. Don't touch. Don't touch. Look, my legs. I'm not doing anything. My hands are here. And now you do just a little press, just On to the steering yeah to, to take to, control to, again and to say at the car, I'm here. Don't worry. Ah uh, yeah. Okay. This is not. So it's holding us. And you can. Um, is there a reason it's holding us at 38? And you can where uh, uh, here you can yeah here oh, so you I can, can increase the max yeah. yeah so so wait what happens if we come up to a roundabout be careful just if you don't have the lines yeah and now you can take back uh, the the autopilot mode you, so on a roundabout now now do? it's fine uh, push okay, yeah. one here and okay I see I see I see very cool. Okay, so obviously it's got all the cameras around there, but that will also just help point out pedestrians even if you're the one driving and not an autopilot. Or it will, um, it will, for example, tell you when a light goes green. So if you had a red light, you know, a lot of people will be like either chatting to the passenger or looking at their phone or whatever it may be. It will beep, give you a little sound when the light goes green. So that's actually uh, pretty convenient. And to explain, if I would like to do a long range, yeah, yeah, no, a long distance, a long yeah. distance, um, all the stops are yeah, the stops, yeah. So that's really cool. So it will tell you, you you've got to drive to uh, Air de Chavarette. Um, that's and, fine. So we're you in can speak now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm, so guys, anyways, full autopilot. Um, so it will tell you you're stopping there, and you're going to stop there for 20 minutes. Um, you, you'll arrive there with 31 percent. Here it's saying, you know, you'll stop for 40 minutes. That could be because there's a lot of cars at the supercharger. So therefore now you just keep the, yeah, oh, yeah. little so bit. Just tell it. Yeah, and it's fine. And 10 seconds more, uh, you do you do that. Uh, it's just, just to make seconds. sure you're not falling yeah. asleep, basically. Yeah. Um, and then it will tell you eventually how long the total drive will take you. So 10 hours, 18 minutes to Paris, which is really not bad. And you'll get there with 11%. And that's a night, nearly a thousand kilometer journey. Um, so that's nuts. Let me, I'm just gonna increase my speed a bit. But it's so, so relaxing to be able to have like a conversation. This is the best filming car as well. Oh. oh. I think it's confused because this is just one really long corner. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, really, really cool. So then to take control back, I just push down. No, up. Push up. Yeah. Okay. And it gives you, it does a little movement. Okay, very good. And if you need to take the control right now, you can just take the... Um, Steering wheel. Uh, yeah, and... Okay, I see. So it's just unlocked. in case oh, of an yeah. emergency or something. Um, the interior, it, it's, it's crazy because there's all these things you need to get used to. Like, for example, if I indicate, I'm like super used to looking in front of me on the dashboard to see, you know, 
when you've turned as the indicator gone off automatically. Whereas here, look, it pops up on the screen there. All your lights are controlled through the screen. Everything is controlled through the screen. Now, it does take some getting used to in terms of using that while you're driving. You basically only use it when you're stopped. But um, it's just such a new way of approaching so many things that you wouldn't necessarily have thought about. Like even the um, air outlets here, the air vents, air outlets, <laughs> air vents, um, uh, it's like one huge air vent in front of you. So you can kind of put the heat or, or the AC wherever you like and it defrosts the, the front windscreen really efficiently. So things like that, that um, now that they're on these cars, you, you don't think of it, but they're, they're such smart ideas. And it's just, as I say, it's an experience in itself because of how new a lot of all of this stuff is. So I'm gonna go back into comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort drive. So it's pretty simple to do, comfort, comfort. And then it's so yeah. relaxing. And just to explain the big news about the um, autopilots, yeah. On uh, the last, uh, yeah. and no, and with the last software, it's not okay, like yeah. the car. It's just with the, the new software. Um, I tell you in French, and you can yeah, yeah. speak after in English. Yeah, okay, so effectively, it's an overtake function. <laughs> yeah. So when you're on the motorway in autopilot, <clears throat> before it was tricky for the car to um, to overtake. But now you put your indicator on, you give it a little signal through the steering wheel and it will actually overtake the car in front of you. So look what we can do here, let's test this new um, green light thing. So my feet, I'm not doing anything. The light's gonna go green and it should give me a little noise. Telling so you can see it on the screen here. Boom. So that's if I'm not paying attention, that noise tells me, oh, I can go again. So little things like that, it's, it's just, it's very cool. The quality of the screen as well is awesome. And can you put the sat nav on the whole screen? Uh, I'm not sure. No, because you need to keep the, uh, the kilometer and, and yeah. yeah, the control on that. Yeah, very cool. Now in the acceleration, obviously. Oh, this function. We don't. Oh, karaoke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do a karaoke with your friends in the car. <laughs> There's loads of things like it's got little um, fart balloons. <laughs> it's got, um, it puts you in like a rocket. But let's see, let me just quickly go in because let's do one last you ready oh, oh my god oh it's it is so brutal <laughs> yeah it's insane i mean there is a million videos about the acceleration we could do one if you want us to do a a reaction to the acceleration video we can do that no yeah problem. yeah for sure yeah i think that if you have fun. some friends comment yeah. down below if you guys want that and another one i want to do is a uh, testing the autopilot in all sorts of different conditions Whoa! <laughs> it's such a fun game you can play with your friends which is like doing the acceleration when they least expect it and seeing their reactions but yeah Romain, thank you so much thank for, you too um, it's cool to share this, this brand new model and the new function. Your new car, your new yeah. baby. I mean, yeah. massive congrats to you. Cause it is so, so cool. Is my car still there? Yes, I think so. <laughs> I um, hope to. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Romain's channel, everything will be linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this look at the at the latest, greatest from, from Tesla and the Model 3. Um, oh, cool. Sorry, I just noticed when you put it in park, it kind of shows you on the screen. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll be seeing you guys again very soon, Romain. Cheers. We'll bye. be back on the channel. Yeah. Bye bye guys. Bye bye.